Hello everyone and welcome to the Philosopher's Brewery and Fermentary. Uh, I'm in my car right now because I'm stopping at my local brew supply shop so I can uh, make a really simple beer with three ingredients. Who's ready? Let's get to work. <laughs> Once I got inside, there were so many options and what I settled on was the CBW Pills and Light. Then, for my yeast, I chose a Safflager W3470, and for the hops, a Cascade. Something simple, easy to drink, and tasty. But, before we brew, we have to clean everything up. After we're done cleaning, it's time to get out the old one step and sanitize the carboy, and all the equipment. I like to even sanitize the bottle brush. Get the workspace ready. Oh boy, here comes the chiller. And today I decided to use the bigger boiling pot. Here she comes. Give it a good scrub and a rinse. Now it's time to scrub out the carboy. One Step does have some properties in it that does sanitize, but I like to rinse it all out and use my, my Star Sand. So I gave it two rinses. I'm just showing one right here for time. Set that aside and star sand the boiling pot. Now some people say, hey, what about those bubbles? Is that going to hurt the beer? Is that going to hurt us? After doing quite a bit of research, it turns out star sand, uh, it basically breaks down into uh, a yeast vitamin. So that's going to help feed the yeast. And it's actually a good thing for the beer. My goal is to get the, uh, the water to 180 degrees, and then I'll put in the, the pills and light. But it's really hard to pour, so I put that aside in warm water to make it easier. But after a little bit of waiting around, the water hit the right strike temperature and it's time to dump in the good stuff. Make sure you stir really well. You don't want the uh, the extract to sit on the bottom, otherwise that can burn, and I have experience in that area. Now it's time for the Cascade Hops. It's going to have a floral, grapefruity feel to it, and it might taste a little bit grassy and herbal, and I really like that. And I'm doing a 30 minute boil. So during the hop break, I put in my hops and let it sit for a while. And then it's time to sanitize the wort chiller. And once it's done boiling and you have both of your hop installations, it's time to cool down that wort. 
My goal is to get it under 80 degrees, otherwise you could kill the yeast. Nope, not yet. So close, so close. Hey, we're there, all right. Just under 80 degrees. Now, set the wart chiller aside and make sure you clean as you go. Otherwise, you're going to have a super big mess in the end. Now, one of the really fun parts, getting the carboys ready. And if you can use your sanitizer and do some cleanup along the way, it's definitely a good thing. It won't hurt. Okay, so the big carboy is ready. This is going to be the three gallon carboy. And I wanted one of the beers to, to be just straight beer and another one to uh, be merged with some juice and to, to see if I could flavor the beer to my liking. And I'll put my hand over the, the funnel so I don't spray my ceiling. Yep, it's happened before. And when the first one's done, we set the funnel in the one gallon. This is going to be the one with the juice. Nope. There she goes. Give the outside a good rinse. Stickiness really can happen right away. So cleanliness is next to beeriness. And I like to dry out the inside of the, the opening so that the yeast does not stick to it. That's a pain in the butt when that happens. And I put about a quarter of the, the yeast packet inside the, the one gallon and the rest in the three. Bada boom, give it a little flick Wipe off the inside yet again, and put on the bung and the airlock. The purpose of the airlock is to keep air out, as well as bugs and all that stuff you don't want in your beer. Okay, that came to a reading of 1.038. And through the power of editing, it looks like I actually drank this whole thing, but no, I did not. <laughs> And then it's time to swirl around the yeast. You're mo oh, oh boy, here's Diesel. He's got to be in the shot. He's kind of a kind of ca uh, of a camera hog, I'd say. And here goes the three gallon to put the yeast along with the sugars and all the good stuff it likes. Hello everybody, we thought we were going to make a uh, three gallon brew today, but instead, and for the sake of science, we did four. Uh, one of the beers will be just a, a straight light beer. I'm thinking it's going to come at about 4%, maybe even a little bit lower. So it should be a sessionable beer. The, the small one gallon batch, I'm going to add some juice and see, see what that does to it. It might even re-ferment kick it up to 5%, we shall see. Uh, the only thing that's left to do is clean up. My least favorite part of brewing. Um, if you can, please like, subscribe, share with people who actually like brewing or want to get into the home brewing uh, game. And that's it. Thanks for watching and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye-bye and thank you.